Hey guys, Future Yatan here. I would just like to take this opportunity to thank everyone who's been watching these talks for the last month or so. It has really sort of motivated me to do more. And uh, thank you so much for all the lovely words that I have received. Now, before we get into the second part of the Taka Taka interview, in the time in which uh, we did the interview and these are coming out, Taka Taka has actually come out with another new song with an absolutely wonderful music video. So before you proceed on to the upcoming interview, make sure you check out the video for Volition and we're just going to be playing a minute of that before we get into the interview. And again, thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have fun. six for just playing live because i used to have a boss and it sounded horrible so then later on like whenever i would play live i would just ask friends to use a line six and once i got into the whole like vst thing i was just like bro meko farak nahi padta to main apna process karna hai to main jo karna hai karo meko farak padta hi nahi hai like back, back yeah, when sure, people bro. people weren't even thinking of like having backing tracks and stuff like that mere projects ready the and people would be like bro tu kya kar raha hai ye sara complicated stuff hai ye wo hai kya hai i mean like why ha ah, like why are you doing it and i'm like bro ek cheez na hoti stress management aur meko stress nahi chahiye stage pe the more things there are the more stressful things there are right. and it's just like the whole thing can become this you know thing of just stress rather than just play right. and rather than and it's the same thing with recording also it's like fun. like it 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 should be fun if it's not fun then you it's just like more like a task like the only reason you can probably work 15 16 hours a day is although it's grueling it's still like okay you know at the end of the day if i finish a guitar track or if i finish a drum track and if i listen back to it it's going to be fun to listen to yeah that's yeah. what we look forward to matlab sach hai ye baat and yeah. it's just and it was uh, it, i saw some one like weird small video that you guys had shared where it was a situation where zens like on the phone going like dude you're tracking tomorrow <laughs> like what was that all about i want to pata yaar yeah that so our vocalist his name is ultimash sever right but we call him sever <laughs> okay and what that situation was ultimash pulling a sever he in any given situation or any given you know thing that he's put into he's going to pull a saver at some point you know and that was him pulling a saver like i we flew out to karachi earlier and he had his college thesis so he was flying in later and you know i confirmed with him ke yo dude you're flying out on this date you know i'm confirming the time with you you good with this <laughs> i'm going to fix the money the ha ha bro fit up best up bro allah you know have my shit ready when i come there <laughs> and uh, the day before or something i call him up cuz i know that i have to check out ultimesh to make sure that he remembers that he has a flight you know he, he can be doing whatever the fuck he will not remember. and like daud ne bataya tha main hame daud ne bataya tha ke saver ki to jodi yeah. us din aur saver ko khud nahi pata ke uske uska exam final yeah, exam, exam hai thesis ka uske <laughs> final year ka uske college ke aakhri saal ka final jis din hai He doesn't know, but we know. And we're saying, "Yeah, you're going to come." I said, "Yeah, I'm going to come." Like, "Yeah, I'm going to come." Whatever. I was just like, "Dude, you need to fucking tell me now." now like, yeah. no bullshit. Abhi bata. But I think, "Yeah, it worked out." I don't know what he pulled, but he he graduated <laughs> and he recorded that. It worked out at the end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's that's incredibly funny, dude. I'm like. like man, like that's why like whenever <laughs> whenever i like schedule stuff so i will create a song and i will ask my drummer dekh 6 mahine baad record karenge 
ठीक है छह महीने बाद ना तू मुझे कोई भी टाइम बता दे जिससे कि इट्स इट्स इम्प्रिंटेड इन योर मेमोरी दैट ओवर अ पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम दैट यू आल्सो बी लाइक यार वो रिकॉर्ड कब करना था कभी तो करना था चेक करना चाहिए मेरे को कब रिकॉर्ड करना था तो नो आई मीन बट ऑब्वियसली इट एवेंचुअली वर्क आउट um so i mean yeah, you, you guys would have recorded everything and then you uh, obviously sent it to keshav what was the reaction of like listening to you know the mixes the first time you got them back cuz obviously you have this like thing in your mind ki you know in my mind i'm thinking of it as it sounds like this it should possibly sound like that but like when it like you know it's like when the first time you hear, hear it how was it like Dude, uh, so he sent us the whale ka instrumental version first. Okay, and me, uh, me, Ali, Isa, and Yusuf were in the mountains in a bus. <laughs> we were we were traveling for a concert, right? And we had really bad reception. But somehow, my phone picked up this one email. Uh, no, it picked up a message by Keshav saying on WhatsApp, "You've got mail." and i tried to access my email and i couldn't so i somehow i don't know how i got the signals i called luke i gave him my gmail password and he downloaded it sent it on whatsapp i don't know how the fuck we downloaded it over there in the mountains and dude like we were literally standing in the middle of a valley at night <laughs> and we heard the whale for the first time it was like goosebump bro like डाउनलोड किया फ्रॉम दूनिवर्स का नाम मिला Yeah, it was epic. We we spent the whole night listening to it on repeat. It was absolutely insane, man. Because like our demos and the stuff that we do at home don't really sound that big, dude. Like you know, and it was like amazing um, to be able to hear a year and a half the uh, you know sweat. Uh, it was epic. I mean, we thought that our demos ka jo mixed reference reference tha na. I knew every exact second of every song. So, um, what, yeah, was it the same for you guys, or was it different? Yeah, you know, thing in the way that me and Luke spent the most time with the songs because we sent like Keshe final edited. You know, uh, everything was in time and all of that good stuff. So we were really sick of the songs, and between us uh, delivering and getting the mixes, because uh, we. like some songs we were still editing so you know okay yeah it it was some time after the recording process that we started getting the first mixes and i think that's when the whole album sort of came to life for the first time for us so it became very exciting i still to this day listen to the songs a lot <laughs> yes because because it it kind of feels like ke wo jo hamare reference mixes the those were the songs that we would have gotten sick of okay you okay, can those mean, were yeah. the things we were working on like 
कैशियव को हमने रॉ ट्रैक्स भेजे और वो वापस उसने जो भी अपना पीछे विजिटरी करके भेजी इट सीम्स लाइक के हमारे गानों के बस अच्छे कवर्स किसी ने किए हैं राइट एग्जैक्टली वो अपना गाना नहीं लगता उस तरह कि ये स्पेल आई डोंट नो के वो सिंथ साउंड इतनी मैसिव कैसे होगी लाइक ये इस तरह की बात है सो इट्स अ मिस्ट्री फॉर मी एंड द ड्रॉप लाइक एवरीथिंग आउट इट मैन लाइक हां लाइक मतलब एवरीथिंग एग्जांपल कह रहा हूं सिंथ everything just sounds insane um, like you get you get what i'm saying like i understand yeah, yeah, yeah. what you're saying ke you get tired of your own tracks but if your tracks are worked on by someone else so it's like their work that you uh get inspired from ke oh shit and again dude like it's keshav you know for i mean yeah. like people in pakistan certainly don't understand it but for us metal heads um like keshav and sky harbor have been like absolutely inspirational you know since the start so <clears throat> just to be able to work with him and for him to sprinkle you know all of his magic over it it's like beyond anything that we've sort of ever you know uh, dreamt of even having on our record so <laughs> it was yeah. absolutely mind blowing still is to this day like i remember asking him ke yaar will you play that will you play a solo on one of our songs हाँ लाइक आई हैड टू आई हैड टू फोर्स जैन के यार बस पूछ लेते हैं कुछ नहीं होगा लाइक आई एम नॉट गोइंग आस्क हिम यू नो लाइक मैं नहीं पूछ रहा ये कहता नहीं कहता हम अफोर्ड नहीं कर सकते यू गाइस नीड टू यू गाइस नीड टू मीट हिम वंस यू गाइस नीड टू मीट हिम वंस एंड वंस यू मीट हिम यू विल रियलाइज कि ही डज नॉट गिव ऑफ फक ही डज नॉट गिव ऑफ फक and you're just like, like it was more of a he was like he's like a guitar hero to I get what you mean so like I was like I'm not going to ask him to play a solo on my fucking you know <laughs> BS like why why would I ask him to do that you know and he Luke forced me and I did and he said yes and the day that solo came like oh my god man beyond like mind blown you know but like it's been crazy मतलब मैंने सोचा भी नहीं था कि लाइक हमें कुछ मे बी कुछ चेंज करवाना पड़ेगा या कोई इस तरह का आई इवन थिंक अबाउट द पॉसिबिलिटी बस वो सोलो आया उसने इसका कि फिट है हमने सुना लाइक बस या मैन परफेक्ट था परफेक्ट कुछ भी उसमें नहीं जरूरत इवन विद द मिक्सेस मैन लाइक हिज मिक्सेस वुड बी सो परफेक्ट he himself like initially was like nahi dude mujhe batao you know agar koi cheez tumhe ko tumhare ko mai bother kar rahi hai koi aisi cheez hai because we were just like holy fuck the sound amazing but then sort of yeah, like the only, only notes notes, the only pointers any only notes we would send him would be like some level thing ke iska level yeah. thoda mm-hmm. zyada kar this ka level which is like very subjective like but yeah eq wise mix wise they were yeah, like this One or two things जिनका पूरी एल्बम में जिनका EQ थोड़ा सा चेंज कराया था I guess like just one or two yeah. things and we had a whole really version well. of the record <clears throat> basically ready to go which Keshav had himself mastered that we were absolutely like hundred percent hundred and ten yeah we didn't even to. think of Herman uh, back then like a okay, okay. it was not even like a possibility in my head that damn like हमारा Herman हमारे गाने को सुनेगा भी नहीं like you know <laughs> and kesha one day he was like you know waise um we should maybe you know if you have the budget or whatever it would be cool to you know involve ermen or yeah. whatever like uh, shit is that a possibility to actually <laughs> do that is it yeah we can you know hit him up we can try one song yeah. out and that's somehow we just we just decided that yeah this this would be something really cool and it like or be un gano ko wo you know exactly i didn't think it would they were going to be any bigger than they were all, all than they already were you know so man mm-hmm. some weird reshit man seriously like insane <clears throat> yeah it was it was the exact same thing for me also cuz i was like if ormen can do this uh, and my thing was not that i don't know about the money i was like bro uske paas time hi nahi hoga uske paas itni cheeze hoti hai exactly yeah uske paas time hi nahi hoga karne ke liye मतलब काम करने के लिए ही टाइम नहीं होगा उसके पास छोड़ दो मतलब वो बोलेगा मेरे को ब्रो मैं अभी छह महीने के लिए अवेलेबल ही नहीं हूँ बट देन आई हिट एम अप एंड देन ही टोल्ड मी द प्राइसेस एंड द फनी थिंग वाज फर्स्ट आई रेड द प्राइसेस एंड आई वाज लाइक ओके ठीक है यू नो नॉट बैड बट आई रेड दम इन यू देन आई रेड दम अगेन एंड आई सॉ इट सेट ए यू डी एम लाइक एक सेकेंड मेरे को कन्वर्ट करने दो एंड देन आई कन्वर्टेड इन आई वॉज लाइक ब्रो ये अपनी ले रहा है क्या ऐसे कि मेरी ले रहा है मतलब क्या हो रहा है ये यहाँ पे 
मतलब हाँ ना वही तो मैंने नहीं सोचा था कि लाइक Affordable you know cuz i asked him you know like you tell me if yeah, you yeah, any yeah, yeah. i don't fucking know man like yeah, yeah. and he was like no dude bilkul sahi hai and it was like so that guy is a magician man oh Whatever yeah he does. like mm-hmm. the 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 most like irritating thing like he found in the whole process with me was dude i've been done with this for so long it's just that the internet here is shit and i can't send it over to you <laughs> and the amount of <laughs> the the amount of times he ranted on an email just about how shit the australian internet service was as compared to him just sending yeah, songs yeah i think that is that way he's yeah, so like an ermen ermen type banda like usko 100 mb ki jagah 99 mb net aa raha hoga usko tab chad jayega he's gonna be like what the hell like cuz he be like dude mera ye तीन दिन से पड़ा हुआ है अभी तक ट्रांसफर ही नहीं हुआ है आई एम वेरी सॉरी आई एल आई एम आई ट्राई माय बेस्ट टू सेंड इट टू यू एंड आई बी लाइक हां यार वहां पे भी होता है उधर भी इंटरनेट खराब होता है आई वाज लाइक वन सेकंड आई एम सरप्राइज्ड दैट यू फिनिश्ड मास्टरिंग एन एंटायर एल्बम इन अ डे लाइक ठीक है आराम से देख कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है आई थिंक ही आई थिंक ही डज ऑल हिज लाइक मास्टरिंग स्टफ during like lunch or something yeah, <laughs> yeah it's not even like a thing for him ki ha theek hai maine bas kar diya cool like he just knows what yeah. to do cuz he's worked on so much stuff um yeah and like my biggest fear was ki i'm going to send it to armen and he's going to be like um you know you should probably work on your mix a little more same um, we yeah. was like wo agar ho gaya na to problem ho jayegi and the only thing he said to me was काम कर स्नेर ना थोड़ा सा दो डी भी कम कर दे क्या करूंगा इस पे करके Yeah I would just expect him to just say no to that kind of stuff yeah, like yeah ye acha hai ki he gives feedback and he tries to make your record sound better as a whole or yeah, anyone he's worked with yeah yeah, yeah definitely but I I think he's just that way he's just a professional yeah all, that's good. all the way through um another thing yeah. I wanted to ask about was the artwork dude who made that artwork dude. man acid toad uh, gorov okay uh, yeah Basu, okay now that makes the sense the legend yeah Uh, we hit him up on Instagram and we were like, "Dude, you are fucking insane. Would you please work with us?" And he did not reply. Okay, yeah. okay, probably requests. So, chala hoga, chala gaya hoga. And I knew he had worked with Sky Harbor, so I hit Keshav up and I was like, "Can you please, pretty please, can just you send please, him a like, message?" Yeah, just can you please poke him once? And if he doesn't want to do it, it's fine. And then he got in touch and um, like. he was again very reasonable for a small band like us in terms of finances and just in terms of being an easy guy to work with um, like um an incredible experience like i can't wait for this lockdown to get over so i can like have like a big version framed for my house mm, um, yeah. like gorgeous artwork man like and he's done stuff with dark glass and he's done yeah he's done so much people. stuff yeah man he's super sick and is really nice like, guy uska as a as a vocalist bhi bada crazy hai wo oh yeah wo to mujhe yeah. baat nahi yeah 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 no uh, the funny thing for like, me was i had only known him for his singing in inner sanctum and then keshav mm-hmm. got this t-shirt design done and he, i was like oh you know who did you get it done and he was like ah oh inner sanctum ka jo vocalist hai wo art bhi draw karta hai i'm like ha and then i checked out his art <laughs> i was like what like गाना तो अलग ही बात है मतलब ही इज ग्राउल्स लाइक नोबडीज बिजनेस एंड देन ही डज ऑल दिस इनसेन आर्टवर्क स्टफ लुक द बीस्ट ऑल अराउंड मैन एंड अ स्वीट हार्ट लाइक इट वाज ऑसम वर्किंग विद हिम लाइक आई वुड लव टू लाइक उसको देखो ना तो लगता है कि अच्छा इंस्टाग्राम में लाइव हो रहा है बाल जोगो टाइप लगता है लेकिन बिल्कुल नहीं 
teddy bear sweet hai wo <laughs> like when we spoke to him for the first time i was like really nervous you know we were me and luke ah, were yeah. and him, like sure he's going to be like really mean sounding dude <laughs> 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 yeah, we had a really nice conversation about everything you know it was like really i was like wow oh, man like he's not going to have me for breakfast he's chill <laughs> So where yeah. did, who came up with the idea for the artwork because I'm guessing obviously you would have given him you know an idea of what you wanted We sent him some references of artworks from albums we liked like humne ko panch che different references bheje the and then he asked us for like a paragraph or a bit of text that would tell us how we feel about the album what we thought when writing the lyrics like usne lyrics mange the usne songs liye humse he asked us what general themes we were working with thoda sa humne ek maine zain aur ali ne mostly ek uh, compile kiya like a paragraph of And basically honestly, just kind of we hadn't we had- really thought of the music like that you know gorav was the first one to ask us ke bro तुम लोग क्या सोच रहे हो ये क्या हाँ, हाँ, क्या है ये यू नो एंड यू लाइक ओह शिट अच्छा ये भी सवाल होते हैं यू नो लाइक अली से अब ऑल ऑफ अस टर्न टू अली एंड वी वर लाइक डूड व्हाट द फक आर यू सिंगिंग अबाउट यू नो क्या है अली अली वाज लाइक मुझे नहीं पता अली इज लाइक अ रियली शाय गाय इन टर्म्स ऑफ यू नो लाइक आप उसको ऑन द स्पॉट डाल दो टू यू नो पोर हिज फीलिंग्स आउट टू यू इज नॉट गोना डू दैट इंस्टेंटली यू नो सो ही वाज जस्ट लाइक हे मैन मुझे नहीं पता ब्रो लाइक लेट मी बी वी थॉट दैट स्क्रिप्ट लिखे हैं काफी प्रोफाउंड इन अ वे बट उस खुद बताता भी नहीं है कि उसने क्या सोचा है ये बस लिख दिए आई लिरिक्स मैंने लिख दिए डू यू गाइस डू यू गाइस स्टिल हैव एन आईडिया ऑफ व्हाट ही इज रिटन अबाउट और व्हाट द रिकॉर्ड इन कंप्लीटनेस इज अबाउट so he jokingly says that he recently moved from his house um really really far uh, off to a place called bheria town outside of the city so he like came about, about him moving far away or some shit like that yeah i think he's just yeah being a sad boy fair enough works well with dog <laughs> i mean any house so yeah, he moved moved away from his like friends and stuff so now he wrote yeah, an angry it, 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 it yeah it's just like existential angry yeah. sad you yeah, basically matlab woh hai jo hamare sari ye theme hoti hai apne test racks ki lyrics yeah woh so, so, usual stuff and the, the deep usual. stuff the deep the good deep. stuff luke yeah i think he's uh, <laughs> he's frozen <laughs> in like a very <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to screen shot this. Shot of this same. <laughs> <laughs> oh, should we kick him out or something? <laughs> I don't know. Like maybe if he uh, just rejoins again. Um, ah, there you yeah, go. Yeah, he's back. back my... <laughs> no, yeah, I think he's gone. Internet glitched. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's gone. Luke has like really ghetto internet. and i oh, can't okay. send him project files we, like we me have to do it we have to like meet up every two, three, two, three, two. i mean to be fair uh-huh. uh, we had we also had ghetto internet till like 3 hours back so it's yeah. not like i just got really good internet because i moved to the city from the outskirts okay so i finally have really nice internet for a change for yeah, the no, first time I, in ever i get like 100 uh-huh. M- mbps and i'm, I'm, I'm more me? than happy yeah yeah, yeah. 100 that's not <laughs> <laughs> 100 mbps cuz like five uh, fiber uh, fiber finally made its way through and we were like yes how um, much does that cost you it's like 20 100 bucks a month that's nothing that's how much i pay for 20 mb ha huh, so that that's how it used to be at one point of time for a long point of time it was around 10 15 mbps yeah, we yeah. used to get and then this like one company came through and we were like yeah do you want 100 mbps i'm like that doesn't even exist yeah. and they were like yeah. yeah no but it's not just 100 mbps it. it's 100 mbps download and upload wow dude so, that is like wild so whenever i have to like send tracks to somebody i'm like bouncing it off no big and then bro. after 2 minutes i'll be like ha yeah, here's the link and they'll be like ha yeah. like itni jaldi like <laughs> you have some like super computer or some shit i'm like no just good internet <laughs> right 
लेकिन अब बस थोड़ा Bad demand has thing. increased greatly <laughs> yeah yes yeah, so i think <laughs> my mobile mobile and yeah so just like final thing i want to say before uh, mm. you know completing is this, this is because obviously you've spent all this time uh, creating this album and you you know obviously spent a lot of money have you guys done any pr or anything like that or were you just like okay you know what we're just going to put it out and see how man pr fuck that the pain of our existence so pr hamara ho chuka hai pr ha like hame bas man like i mean we as of right now we have like this pool of money which we like we can throw into pr but it isn't like enough to be really so- like give us a really solid like five month fucking balls out campaign who does um, five months that's insane I don't know. Like yeah, I don't know what I, mean. I don't know a lot about them. Okay. हमे इस हमे यार या तो we should like ask you के PR के लिए क्या करना चाहिए? Yeah, do for sure. You tell us. For sure, yeah. Just you tell us क्या करना चाहिए क्योंकि we are like really confused के क्या PR हमारे लिए अच्छी है कितना pay करें कितना कितनी देर के लिए which people do contact like we don't know this stuff see so usually Honestly. if you're looking at like a ba- like a big album release it's not more than 3 months and 3 months essentially is 3 right. months starting from you know when the 3 months starting 1 month before the album comes out so 1 month in right. lead up to the album and then the album comes out and then you spend 1 month during that and then 1 month afterwards or you do it where you do 2 months before the album so the album comes out in the second month Or, or rather the third month the last month and then you write that one month out when the album comes out and uh, right. the biggest advantage of pr is that basically like if you're approaching magazines or if you're approaching you know all these different kinds of uh, forums where you can right. get some exposure um, they get thousands and thousands of emails every day right so right. Yeah. you're just going to be another one of those you know small you have to go through someone blips, right I small mean. blips in you know all that stuff they have so when you hire in uh, a pr agency not only do they do they you know create this sellable package for what you have which is i mean i understand as a mus- musician for most people it's quite hard to do because you know there's mm-hmm. a you can't really see what you've made and spent time on mm-hmm. as like just exactly, a, yeah. just something that is a commodity it has a lot more right. behind it uh, yeah, definitely so that's how it's going to sell Uh so they create that and then they send it across to all of their uh, you know partners and th- then PR companies you get PR companies who then actively work with big magazines and all of these things on a daily basis right so then we approached a couple of companies yeah and the whole thing was that we have enough money to either do like hmm. maybe a two month maybe one month cuz it's not a lot of money that we yeah, have yeah, yeah, or yeah. we do A, a pretty decent looking music video so that's sort of what we decided right now as a band ke if we have just enough money to do a so so you know um, not a super crazy campaign then mind it then might as well just do a video that sort of stays forever right now that's sort of what we i mean thought or yeah i mean sort of. i mean that like still yeah. work because <laughs> Yeah, I mean it still works because I mean a music video obviously is going to be quite a statement because at this stage people are like obviously uh taking more to video and taking more to actual visual content as compared to just audio con- content which is you know right. I mean which has I'm I'm sure you know shown to you guys that even with the music videos that you have have out and no PR you have quite a lot of you know uh traction towards that um which is why yeah. i asked that question of pr is because it seemed to me like you guys had done pr because of the numbers that are coming up but it's quite no, interesting yeah we just yeah it then i get, I'm, like i mean if you're able to sustain that then 
just go for it considering it works well i mean but i mean like it also like doesn't because like fault lines did so well right mm. it has like about 28 almost 28000 views on youtube and um just counting youtube for now and thinking in in regards to the music videos then the whale came out and that's on like about i don't know 9000 8000 views so and that video cost us more than doing fault lines <laughs> you know so it's just like ah what do i do but again yeah. like if we throw out an audio of a song it's not it's, not, it's really, not going to do nowhere near as any of those numbers like right. it's like just not going to just throw out fault lines as a, as audio any do not feel that it would have done as well as it actually did uh, you know so i think for this album we're just going to stick to um uh, music videos and then yeah. have like a big repertoire of you know like content that we can we can hire a pr guy you know next year when we have the money and have him push these assets as yeah, well yeah you know? yeah. I mean, yeah yeah definitely how i understand that stuff but um uh, yeah man money is a bitch <laughs> especially if you make like the nichest of music possible Uh, right <laughs> exactly you know you, you could have settled on metal which is still quite accessible but then you know we make this right. kind of like super nerdy prog music which is like really like right. this small bubble but yeah. uh i mean but at, like, uh, at least in my experience yeah he small bubble yeah he small bubble hai jisme like guitar companies ka future change kar diya exactly tha. exactly exactly yeah these And small ripples cause waves somewhere else exactly yeah. like even that's what i was going to say like even this like small mm-hmm. bubble is is so immensely um just devoted to that bubble in itself that yeah uh, exactly you know, the, the output Look. is just uh, incredible even if it's not like, hard for <laughs> even if even if you don't have like 500 600000 views you know that you have even if you have like 5 10000 views or like people who buy your stuff uh, those people are going to be there so it's a fan right. base that doesn't really go away nobody is going to listen to you know a band like you guys and listen to it for like 15 10 15 seconds and go like ha bas theek hai you know next uh, if someone's going to listen to you they probably listen to you know all of that kind of stuff already so when they tune into right. you they're like Okay, you know what? This is something that's really nice and something I'd like to hear over and over again. Um, right. And that is a uh, quality mm-hmm. of of the album that I would say is very apparent to me because since I've started listening to it, Thank I can't you, stop listening to it. So, um, because it's 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 really um, I mean, for a normal listener, it's quite a lot. But then you have all the vocals that just give you that you know similar feeling of just something sounding grand, grand because. the choruses and all of that stuff is really poppy right so although you have right. all these uh, weird you know eccentric uh, parts not a lot of uh, odd time stuff but the metric modulation is insane oh my god um <laughs> <laughs> you see in doubt man they love that stuff yeah <laughs> hey, rame brothers ka ek signature style hai ke bas wo jaa film ko milta hai na It's like it's like they're trying to do a drum instructional video every single time, but it just works. <laughs> like it's great. so good. We just keep playing the same thing. You yeah, know? exactly. Like we have to write the third part. But then what? But then what? Because the style has become a little bit like we do it in a different way. Because it was unintentional. Right. I would also like to like take this. uh opportunity to like thank all the indian people who sort of reached out like i think with these three songs um more i mean we have gotten a lot of love in pakistan but pakistan may compared to india metal scene is very small yeah. you know it's been like super humbling to see so many people reach out to us and be like yo you guys are awesome you know and it's like absolutely insane like whenever i get like messages from across the border hey dude you guys are awesome or whatever like that's like amazing because we don't really get accepted in pakistan whereas when we look at the scene in india we see you know festivals happening you know pulafias coming down chons doing like a fucking tour yes the scene might be like small on your end as yeah, well but you yeah. guys need to be at a Point I guess it definitely, you can, it definitely, you know, yeah. gives you perspective. Because for us, like, it's like, because for right us, obviously, now, like, yeah, 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 yeah. We're, we're the only band 
doing this sort of music in the country mm. like we can't tour with any other yeah, band yeah, like yeah, yeah. we've done gigs with indie bands you know because they're all our buddies and they also want us to play and we want to play or whatever and we play at these shows but half of the time the audience is just like you know what's what happening fuck yeah, yeah. what the <laughs> fuck is happening and that has its own fun but after a while you just want to play to crowds or you know you want feedback from people who actually get that sort of music so yeah, it's been like the last gig we played yeah uh, blumpy us pe this was after the release of these i think the whale and uh, fault lines ke sirf fault lines just fault lines just fault lines so that i think was the first time i actually saw people intentionally showing up ke yaar humne taka tak dekhna tha yeah yeah se pehle it was always ke acha hum xyz artist ko dekhne aaye hain aur ye ek noisy tha saath mein people aa gaye yeah yeah and we're just yeah. waiting noise and we're waiting for this to end so that we could watch our favorite and artist nahi tha that most of the gigs look that we have gotten at like slightly bigger festivals or whatever gigs that we have gotten have been also because of the fact that we a play with other people and mm. people know us if we were a band that they didn't know personally they yeah no yeah what the gigs man because like we sound very different from all those guys so i mean i think we've been lucky in that way that we're connected in the scene enough to be you know invited to gigs and stuff but um, only now is that sort of changing where people are like oh shit like we were on the news like the biggest cha- <laughs> news channel on pakistan and those I saw news that. anchors just, i saw that i saw that like right? that's <laughs> insane good <laughs> like, like 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 the worlds in uh, in 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 free fall and then i then like pakistan tv is like yo check out this brand new act and i'm like that's insane that that was so incredibly like funny to me but it was also like okay great you know maybe if because i think that's one difference that you uh, one advantage that you guys also have is because you're sort of the only people right now um that is obviously going to work in your benefit whereas you know it does in it does, in, 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 in india like if i start a metal core band like i'm nobody cuz there's so many metal core bands bro, there's so much bro, stuff i around. mean it's it's about perspective if you think of it this way ke okay we'll have the first wala sticker mm-hmm. on us yeah like theek hai pakistan mein aap first ho lekin Well, but I mean, what, how does that pay off in a way? Yeah, But the, yeah. If we yeah. had like ten yeah. other bands that were like as good or better than us, so ठीक है, we wouldn't have been the first, but there would have been a metal scene here. Each band mm-hmm. would have had their own following bands. कि आपस में एक friendly competition भी अगर है कोई भी like to just like bust each other. Thing, man. Like I mean, that whole thing like pushes everyone up. Or we had that for a bit, like. Eight years ago, yeah, but like all, like, all like, those bands like, disbanded, all of them. You you get it? Yeah, but maybe so, you know, like, maybe the fact that you guys are now back and you know you're getting the attention that you're getting in some way or another would probably you know tell that you know kid that's sitting in his bedroom that well I thought you know there was up. nothing before, but maybe we can I can do something now. So that's also yeah, another yeah, thing. Yeah. Um, but but sure. yeah, but 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 that's the major like thing like a lot of our peers who've you know been in the scene with us and obviously cuz we are session players so we meet a lot of people and everyone we we friends with everyone and since a very young age so everyone's like yaar tum log bade nahi ho ye like tum log abhi tak ye kar rahe ho and i think uh, with the these songs it's the first time yeah, yeah it's the first uh, time they like tum log ye kar rahe ho yeah mature ho gaye हाँ इस लाइक तुम लोग बड़े कर रहे हो एक्चुअली तब इंडियन म्यूजिक में जाना शुरू कर Yeah, that's the same thing. That, that that's the same thing that uh, I I mean that's pretty common in both of our cultures is that you know what when are you going to stop listening to all this screaming stuff and you know and right. uh, it's funny how that conversation always goes from oh what are you going to do to oh you're going to have a family and kids and I'm like bro. 
क्या कनेक्शन क्या है लाइक व्हाट यू ट्राइंग टू से लाइक हाउ डज इट गो फ्रॉम लाइक लिसनिंग टू वन काइंड ऑफ म्यूजिक टू व्हाट यू गोइंग टू डू इन लाइफ लाइक यू नीड टू हैव अ जॉब यू नीड टू लाइक हैव अ फैमिली आई एम लाइक यू स्टिल हैव अ जॉब यू कैन स्टिल हैव आई कैन डू एवरीथिंग एंड स्टिल हैव दिस लाइक आई एम श्योर आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू बी दैट पर्सन हु लाइक एट 35 और 40 इज गोइंग टू बी लाइक नहीं मैं तो कुछ नहीं सुनता मैं तो कुछ नहीं करता मैं लाइक आई जस्ट यू नो लिव माय फैमिली लाइफ एंड व्हाट एवर द फक लाइक राइट and i think it's just like cuz it's that whole culture shock thing where we are definitely in a sense the counter culture and most people are like you know ha tum gaate nahi ho gaate to theek hota hai like oh god ha right is... exactly oh yeah 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 वो तो डेफिनेटली गेट दैट ऑन इट ऑन द डे बट इवन दिस थिंग्स दे 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 आर ट्रू इन अ वे मतलब अगर मैं सिर्फ गिटार बजाता हूं और मैं अमेजिंग रिफ्स बजाता हूं आई हैव अ बेटर चांस एट बीइंग सक्सेसफुल इन द पाकिस्तानी ऑडियंस इफ आई प्ले एन एक्यूस्टिक एंड सिंग या डेफिनेटली बिकॉज़ दैट्स व्हाट द मेन स्ट्रीम इज राइट द सेम थिंग ओवर हियर दैट विल वर्क इन दैट दैट व्हाट दैट व्हाट सेल्स but the difference comes yeah. when you know when bands like yourself and other bands put in that effort that i think the ma- major picture that people miss out is that okay you know you probably have some guy with a guitar singing you know but a lot of people do that millions and millions of people do that on the streets they do that everywhere it's that when these people become mainstream or when they have someone behind them who makes them mainstream it's that whole production process that comes into the picture as well which right. now if bands like you and other bands start in calculating and even thinking about that because like you, uh, this is a major problem at least for us here is that there are so many bands oh. that get formed every other week and you hear about them for a week or a month or two months and they're like oh you know we're coming out with a song they release one song and then they just vanish right and that just keeps happening over and over and over again it's only been like i would say only in the last one or two years when where we have actively started seeing releases like ep releases album releases right so that's also I another thing that people should think about is you can have you know different crafts but you can obviously taken in information from every sphere to inculcate that in what you're doing and make your thing stand out uh, i mean basics yeah. like because people don't don't even think about basics like to have a good recording to invest a basic amount right. of money in you know mixing mastering that basic kind of stuff and right it's it's sho- it's still shocking to me that you know most bands don't do like, that pakistani pop music and like mainstream rock music has that sort of production value and all of that stuff but no metal band had yeah. gone this far production wise like and i and i'm a not shitting on any previous pakistani metal bands and i'm um you know the whole thing also i feel credit goes to keshav because he sort of made the sound um but i think this is the on uh, one of the big reasons why people in pakistan are also slightly taking notice is the fact that this is the first time yeah. metal has sounded good or produced uh, or you know um, in that sense professional sounding um, you know for the first time a lot of people like a lot of the producer uh, people that i'm uh, friends with um, in the industry i'm you know sort of made them listen to these songs and they were like shit ye tum log to nahi ho Hmm. Uh, especially one producer that had worked with us previously mikal hasan um he was like holy shit ye to tum log nahi ho i was like nahi ye i swear ha man he like holy shit ye mix bahut acha hai i was like bro ye matlab ye keshav ka jadoo hai you know so i mean first time pakistan mein i think logon ko ye bhi ho raha hai ki oh shit acha is tarah metal sound karta hai jis tarah you know aap uh, Lincoln Park ki tarah ya exactly, yeah, 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 yeah. ki tarah you yeah. know the shit that they are sort of accustomed to yeah and even if it's you know, not saying that it sounds as good as those records but like even if it's nee, like yeah, it does, bro, like seen ye ke if you listen to a really good song by maybe Pilitri or Lincoln Park or whatever and then you play a tak tak song it should sound like like a stupid phone recording right. yeah exactly right exactly उंड 
वो मॉन्यूमेंट्स का गाना है वो वॉल्यूम्स का गाना है ये हमारा गाना है या यू नो डेफिनेटली का प्रोडक्शन एंड ऑफ डिसीजन सैक्रीफाइस एंड केशव की सारी मेहनत एंड एवरी थिंग सॉर्ट ऑफ इज द रीजन वाई इट इज सो डेफिनेटली Yeah well thank you so much yeah. for joining me in this wonderful chat I I had a wonderful time uh, talking to you guys I hope I hope you guys had the thank same Thank you yeah and uh, thanks for having us Tommy And I That's hope maza aaya yaar I hope that the album does even better when it eventually comes out one by one you know um and Fingers uh, crossed Yeah um uh, this has been another episode of Cosmograph Talks and we will see you next time with someone else and I'll try my best to get somebody interesting on but if you still guys if you still haven't checked these guys out make sure you check out Taka Tak uh they're everywhere uh for my Indian friends if you don't know the spelling it's the chips we used to have in school um that is awesome <laughs> we literally we had dude we had these we had these chips called taka tak which were like knock off kurkure and they were so good that's amazing and yaar taka tak chips so um that's the spelling t a k a t a k so they are selling it um my merch and <laughs> and as they've said they're on the new metal uh, and the godgen playlists on spotify they also have two videos out um, full on music videos out for their songs so they have like good quality count- content out there and if and you're a, a fan playthrough. and a play through uh, okay. and if you're a fan of that whole genty meets good song writing and you know powerful <laughs> vocals thing you'll definitely enjoy what these guys have to you know offer so thank you so much guys right. and this is all for me and i'll see you guys later bye thanks man thank bye. Thank bye. bye bye thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed the interview uh if you want to check out taka tak and check out all of their links the links are in the description below and if you want to follow any of my music and any of what i do same links in the description below and it would also be great if you could like this video and subscribe to the channel if you want to just you know keep out for more uh, as these videos come out and trust me there's a lot more fun ones coming out uh, so you definitely want to check those out um thank you so much again and we'll see you sometime soon bye